The type 1 error and type 2 errors are usually mentioned in the context of hypothesis testing. In the context of hypothesis testing, we have many terms. Let's go to the terms first without defining them because I like to put things up front. So we'll just go to the terms without mentioning their description. We have type 1 error, type 2 error, false positive, true positive, false negative, false negative, true negative. Uh, we have the null uh, hypothesis, the H0, the HA, the alternative hypothesis. We have tolerance, the significance level, rejection level, the alpha. Uh, we also have um, uh, the statistical uh, power and the uh, beta. So basically in the hypothesis testing, we are looking at distributions. We are looking at distribution and we setting some thresholds in order to understand whether our zero null hypothesis, we should reject it or uh, not reject it. If we reject an hypothesis, this means that we think something uh, new has happened, we suspect, okay? Uh, if we don't reject null hypothesis, then we think that reality is in general uh, the same and we didn't find something uh, new. So obviously we want to set a much higher standard for rejecting the null hypothesis. Uh, I mean, if we reject the null hypothesis and we think that something new has happened, uh, we found something that our, uh, our investigating uh, investigation is finding something uh, new, then uh, this means uh, we we have breaking news. So we set a, a threshold of at least 5% and less. So either 4%. So if this would happen by chance for 5% of the things according to the distribution that we draw, which is a different topic, uh, then uh, this is the chance that we would fail to reject the the null hypothesis incorrectly, which is uh, a false positive. Because if we didn't reject the null hypothesis, this means that we think that the null hypothesis is okay. Um, so we want to reject the null hypothesis. Null hypothesis is saying everything is okay, and nothing new has changed. And this is where we get the type 1 error, which is the false positive. Type 1, positive, something has happened. Type 2, false negative. We think that uh, we don't reject the null hypothesis, but everything is okay. So basically we look at what's happening and we say that we are going to decide according to some metrics. So we are going to set a much higher bar for saying that the reality is actually interesting and something we found something new so we set like five percent in all the scientific articles you see the five percent there so th this is where they say we found with five percent uh, significance uh, level rejection level uh, tolerancy all these are the same that uh, we should reject an hypothesis that we found we think this is interesting so if they are wrong if, if they uh, rejected the null hypothesis and they think that the things are interesting, they still have a chance of error, 5%. Uh, failing to reject the, the other side, failing to reject a new reality, is something that we want to be more permissive with. We usually set something like 20% for this, uh, for failing to reject uh, um, the the if we fail to reject the the null hypothesis while the actually the alternative hypothesis is true and this is type 2 error type 2 error means the reality is interesting something positive has actually happened under the scene but we fail to detect it because we fail to reject the, the null hypothesis we we don't reject it, but there is a positive. He is positive to COVID, but we fail to reject the null hypothesis. This is beta. It's 20%. So what would be the 80%? The 80% would be the chances to correctly reject the null hypothesis. So we have 5%, which is the type 1 error, which is failing to reject the... which is rejecting the null hypothesis while the null hypothesis is true, so this is the high bar. 
we think that something new has happened, we reject another hypothesis, but we are wrong. And then we have beta. The fail to reject another hypothesis because we, uh, underlyingly, the alternative hypothesis is true, but we fail to reject another hypothesis. We think everything is the same. Here we have a higher threshold of 20%. Then we have the power. We reject another hypothesis. Truly, we make we are not in an error in the power. We reject another hypothesis, and the alternative is actually true. So here we usually said the one minus beta, which is 80%. So to sum up, type one error is false positive, which means we reject another hypothesis, but it's incorrect to reject it actually. So in type 1 error, we are the positive. We are looking at the positive side, but we uh, make an error in the positive. We make a false positive error. We think that something is positive. In the type 2 error, we look at the negative and we uh, have a false negative. So we think everything is okay. Uh, we don't reject the hypothesis. And um, this is the type 2 error. So, uh, I know this is mixing up also in general, uh, but this is how I could at least uh, come to uh, discuss it. So hopefully we have all benefited from it, and uh, we'll discuss it more, and hopefully this would clarify some additional things. Thank you for listening, and see you next time.